Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the page orientation in Google Slides. So that means I'm going to take it from a landscape slide to making it more of a vertical, normal document kind of orientation. So this is how you do it. You click on File, and you go all the way down to Page Setup. And then here you click on the drop down and you go to Custom. Now a normal sheet of paper is about what, like 8.5 by 11. So just to make sure it all prints, I'm going to do an 8 by 10 inches, very close to the size of a normal sheet of paper, and I'm going to hit apply. And you'll see that it has changed it now to a portrait mode, right? So it will do that with all the documents in your um, in your presentation and any ones that you add to it. They'll all be in a portrait mode now. And occasionally that will mess up the text boxes, so you might just have to click and drag to reorient them. But this is how you create a portrait mode out of a Google slide. Now, why is that a benefit? Uh, personally, I don't like using Google Docs. I don't think there's as many options and you can't embed things as easily into it. So I like to use Google Slides for absolutely everything. As a professor, I like to make all of my exams on Google Slides, all my worksheets on Google Slides, anything that's interactive I make on Google Slides, um, just because I think that its functionality is a little bit easier to use, it looks a little cleaner, and there's more options. So this also might be useful right now doing virtual learning or virtual working for some people that are still not back at work full time uh, because of the pandemic. You might have um, documents that you need to edit and you don't necessarily have a PDF um, editor or something. This is an easy way to get around that. So I'm gonna show you just an example. I'm gonna add a new blank slide, um, blank right here, new blank slide. Okay, if I sent my kids this PDF document, right? Um, they could just zoom out, make sure that you can see the whole page. They can take a picture of the page using a screenshot mechanism. I'm on a Mac, so I'm hitting Command, Shift, and 4 to take a picture of that page. And then what I'm going to do is go back to Google Slides, and I'm going to click on Background because I'm going to change the background of this slide. And I'm going to choose an image because I just took a picture of the thing that I would like to type on. So I'm going to choose Image, and I'm going to Browse, and I'm going to find the most recent screenshot and I'm going to open that and make that the background of my slide. So you can see right here that I have just, oops, that I have just made that the background. So here is the actual worksheet. So the beginning is showing you um, to do matching and then you have to type on the rest of it or maybe circle something. So you can do all of that within Google Slides. So um, to, draw an arrow, or to draw an arrow or a line, I'm not actually matching these, but you can just click in one spot and match to another. That's not necessarily the answer. I didn't really read it. But that's one way that you could show that. Um, you can also insert a text box. Like if I had to type something here, I can type my answer right here. And if it's not quite in the right orientation, that's okay. You can just move it to where you need it to go. So you can type right on it. And if you have to circle um, information, like it says, which does not belong. So atom cell tissue, alive organ. Okay. So I'm going to say that alive is not going to, does not match here. So I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to go up to the fill color and I'm going to make it transparent. So now I have circled my answer, right? So this is just a way, if you don't have a PDF editor, you know, you can typically edit in um, Adobe, but if you don't have the version that lets you do that, you can just take a screenshot of basically just that worksheet. You can embed it into Google Slides and then you can annotate it. You can add, you know, if you're matching, you can draw your arrows. Like I said, these are not the correct answers. I just put something on here. You can add in a text box. And then this is really easy if you wanna, um, I like to have everything centered because I'm a little bit crazy about that. But if you want to just quickly create more boxes, you can just copy and paste and then just drag them where they need to go and then just change the answer, right? So it's very nice, it's very neat. Um, and you can add in the circles and everything. You can also add in a text box that's larger if you need to type, right? So this is just a great way if you don't have a PDF editor to do all of your work on Google Slides. And then you can save this as a PDF. You can send this to your teacher, your boss, whoever you need to do that for. Um, and you can also save it to a digital notebook online. So I hope that that helps you guys out a little bit.